most people don't realize they have inflammation until it's just too late. Signs like brain fog, joint pain, body ache, bloating, unexplained weight gain, slow healing, all these are signs that your body is inflamed. Turns out there are five ways you can actually test, not just guess how much inflammation your body has. In this video, I'm going to go through all five tests. I'm going to tell you how expensive each one is and when you should consider doing them to identify if you have inflammation or not. The number one inflammation test that we do in India is called CRP. It's essentially an indicator of how much inflammation there is in your body. If you score less than one on the test, you're good. Between one and three, you're beginning to have inflammation. More than three, inflammation is almost definitely a problem. The second test that you can do to check inflammation is called ESR. It's basically testing how quickly your red blood cells fall to the bottom of a test tube. The faster this happens, the more inflammation you have. If you start getting high values on your ESR test, it doesn't just mean you have inflammation. It usually means you have ongoing inflammation, meaning that inflammation is happening right now. That inflammation is usually restricted to areas like your veins and arteries, but it also gives you an indication that it may be affecting other conditions like arthritis and joint pain. So that's worth keeping in mind. The next way to test for inflammation is to see how your body is responding to it. Turns out when you have inflammation, your body starts increasing the content of a protein called IL-6. More IL-6 means more inflammation in your body. The fourth test is one of the most accurate. It's called the homocysteine test. You're essentially checking whether this marker of inflammation, homocysteine, is elevated in your body or not. Usually this level is high, it tells you that the inflammation again has to do with your vascular system, your arteries, your veins, and it's almost directly connected to your heart health. If your metabolism of B12 and other nutrients is impaired, your homocysteine level also starts to raise. So homocysteine is a very important marker if you are testing for inflammation. The last test is one of the most accurate for inflammation, but also the most uncommon in India. It's where you're checking the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 inside your red blood cells. That ratio is supposed to be 1 is to 1, 2 is to 1, 3 is to 1, or even 4 is to 1. But if that number becomes out of control, like 20 is to 1, 30 is to 1, it tells us that your body is at high risk of inflammation. So where do you start from? Nowadays, many packages for health reports include things like ESR and CRP. So if you're looking for inflammation, start by paying attention to those markers. Don't ignore them if they come mildly elevated or elevated. It's a sign that even though you may be feeling okay today, in a matter of years, your state will start to deteriorate much faster than you imagine. As always, our experts at HUG are trained to read and evaluate every single one of these reports. If you're looking for a free second opinion to figure out what you should do next, or whether your body is actually inflamed, just reach out to us on the WhatsApp number below or our email and we'll be happy to help you. All the best.